Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. Today I'll be showing you the process of designing a stylized owl and a few tips about using Procreate, how to take advantage of drawing guides and symmetry tool. I will also go through color adjustments and applying paper overlays. Please download free tutorial files below the video and let's get started. I'll go ahead and create a new canvas. So we need to click on this plus button and enter the dimensions 2000 by 2500 pixels. DPI is set to 300. For today's tutorial I've created a color palette of 23 colors. It's free to download along with these 4 brushes by the link below the video. We will also use a few standard Procreate brushes and a bunch of cool Procreate features and tools. If you like my YouTube videos and free brushes, please consider supporting me on Patreon, where I share in-depth drawing tutorials and exclusive brush sets and also teach how to make new brushes. You'll find a link to it below this video. With that being said, let's start drawing. In the first part of the tutorial we will sketch the owl shape using Procreate Symmetry tool. I will show you a very easy way to do that. To be honest, I am not a huge fan of symmetry when it comes to drawing portraits of animals or humans. But since we are going to create a design with these geometrical shapes, symmetry tool will work just great here. So we need to activate it. It can be found in Actions, under Canvas tab. First we need to activate Drawing Guide and then go to Edit it. In this menu at the bottom. Let's switch to symmetry. And if you go to options, you can see a few. It is set to vertical by default and we will use it. Let's just make sure assisted drawing is turned on and click done. Next we should select the brush for sketching and also the color. I want to use black here, so I will go to the color disk and double tap here at the bottom of the wheel to get pure black color. Now in the brushes, let's go to ink inset and select dry ink. Actually, any of the sketching brushes would work. For my brush, I've set the size to 11% and I will draw a curve like this, intersecting the grid in the middle. Then I will draw a straight line with an angle to connect these two. This will be the beak. Now let's draw an arc at the bottom to determine the shape. So I will skip some distance from here and then draw it like this. They may also intersect a little. Now we can connect them on top for the head. And determine the shape of the head. By drawing an arc like this. We don't have to be very accurate here. Since it's just a sketch. Later we will create the outlines again. Let's draw the eyes. So I will continue this line of the beak. Make an arc on top and go to the side. Now let's make another one, a little lower and draw another arc. Then we can just connect them with a line. Let's draw a circle inside the shape that will be touching the upper edge. The circles also don't have to be perfect. We just show the location. And then we can draw another circle that will be bigger. Like this. And we can also show the shadow. It'll go as an arc. When the eyes are ready, let's finish the eyebrows. So we just need to draw a few more curves. Starting from this point and going out. Or you can start from the opposite direction. Like this. When we have the shape, we can draw the tail. First we need to draw two lines on the sides. And then connect them at the bottom. Let's make it a little bit rounded. And in the end draw the wings. I will draw this one on the right. And due to the symmetry, it will be reflected to the left. It may go this way. So I will just finish this curve. 
Let's divide the beak into two parts. So I will just make a line here. And I think the sketch is almost ready. All we need to draw is the fingers. But before that, let's draw a horizontal line like this. We can wait a second. And also tap on the canvas. So it goes horizontally. If we click edit shape, we can move it up or down. I will put it somewhere here. And then draw one more. A little lower. Let me also tap on the canvas. Then click edit. And it's just the location. I will just move it a little bit upper. Like this. Now let's draw a few lines inside the stick that will go vertically. Then I will skip a tiny distance. And draw two more. In the end I will connect them with arcs on top. First these two. And then two more. They may go until the end of the stick. And we can only draw triangles like this. If you like you can make them rounded. Ok, the shape is also ready. Let's have a look at it. And I think we made it just fine. So I see you in the next part of the tutorial, where we will start coloring. So in this part we will apply base colors and also already add some details. Let's create a new layer for that. Place it under the sketch. And also use drawing assist to keep the symmetry. Also I will go back to the layer with the sketch and decrease its opacity. Let it be 50%. You can make it lower, but I will keep it like this so you can see it in the video. Now let me go back to this layer that we just created. And I will start with the beak. Let's select color 21 for it. Which is very dark. Also I will change the brush. From the same ink inset, I will select one of my favorite texture brushes that is called Inca. It is actually textured. I will just set the size to around 12% and outline the beak on the sides. We can see the texture here. And it will look even different on both sides, which is even better. Let's connect them. And I will make a few more strokes inside, because due to the texture, fill option may not work. Now let's try it. And even if we have some gaps here, we can keep them, it's totally fine. Also on the same layer, we can draw the eyebrows, using the same dark color. I will start with this one, and since the brush is pressure sensitive, I will be pressing more here to make the stroke wider. So let's apply low pressure first. And then start increasing it. Until we reach the beak. Let's draw the second one. And the last one. This is how it came out. Let's see what else we can paint with this dark color. And I think it can be pupils. So I will draw the circles. And if you have some problems with drawing circles, you can try to use quick shape tool. So you need to draw a circle with one stroke and then tap on the canvas. I will make a few more strokes and then also fill the shape. Like this. Let me fix this one. And it is fine. I think enough of this color. Let's create another layer and place it below. I will keep using symmetry to finish the drawing faster. On this layer we can draw the irises. So in the color palette I will grab color number 16. And draw bigger circles. Let's also first create outlines for them. 
just paint in one of the circles and the other one will be reflected. Then I will connect it here. We can make multiple strokes to make sure that the edges are closed. And after that, let's try to fill it. So I will start dragging the color. And the color drop threshold can be adjusted. For that we need to slide to the sides. Let's keep it like this for now. And create one more layer below. I will get it assisted. And then change the color. Let's use color number 22. And outline the next shade below. Let's draw this straight line. Then connect it behind the beak. Go up here. And then connect it. Here I'm also making multiple strokes to remove the gaps, but still keeping the edge textured. Let's now also fill it. Maybe we can make it slightly lighter. So I will increase brightness a little. Ok, now I like this color. And I've set brightness to 55%. Sometimes I do that. Now that we have the shapes, Let's do this. I want to recolor only one of them. And we can do it easily. If you remove drawing assist. Then I will alpha lock the layer. And select color number 5 from the palette. Now if you go to selection, pick rectangle, we can outline one of the eyes. Let it be the right one. Now let's click color fill and it will be recolored. Since we did that, let's also recolor the irises. So I'll go here and do the same. Remove drawing assist first, then alpha lock the layer and select color number 2 here, which is light. Now I will just outline it, make sure it is all covered and it will change the color as well. That's great. Since we are working on the eyes, let's finish them by adding these shadows. So we can merge these two layers. Actually even all this. And then I will create one more layer, right above this one. Let's clip it. And add drawing assist. We can start with black color. And also change the lace mode, let's say to overlay. Let's draw an arc here that we have in the sketch. Then also connect the invisible parts of it. And after that fill it. If it got too dark, there is a way to fix it. We just need to go to adjustments and in hue saturation brightness, start increasing brightness slowly until we like the result. I think around 60% brightness will work. After that I will deselect it. If we remove the sketch, we will get this. I think looks very cool. So let's continue working on it. I will continue using this sketch and also merge these two layers. Maybe on the same layer we can add this line on the beak. We just need to select the color. I think it can be number 5 or 4, whichever you prefer. I will just make the size a bit smaller. We don't have symmetry tool, and that's great. Let's just draw a line.
going through the center of the beak. It may be dashed if you like. Okay. We will get this. And after we finished this part, let's go further. And create one more layer below. To draw the head. The fifth color is already selected at my end. Let's just not forget to activate drawing assist to keep the symmetry. The size is at 11% and I will outline these arcs. You can try to draw in different directions and the brush will work differently due to its shape. Let's also outline it on the sides like this. And then go up. Here we can match it with the eyebrow. Connect the invisible part. And I will just make a few more strokes. So we will be able to fill it. Let's try. Ok, it's working. Now we can alpha lock the layer to change it on the side. I'm gonna use color number 1 here. Outline a rectangle on the right and try to match it with a grid. It will be filled. Now we can create one more layer. Drag it underneath and get it assisted. Let's finish drawing the head on top. So I will tap and hold here to go back to the previous color. And draw these arcs. Let's try to match it. And connect under the eyebrow. Like this. Make sure there are no gaps here. And now we can try to fill it as well. It's done. I'd like to apply a pattern here and also split it into four different colors. So first I'll create a layer above this one. And then clip it. Let me select color number 20 and outline rectangle on top. Match it with these corners. Now we can also alpha lock it and recolor it on the right into color number 11. I will also use rectangle and it will be filled. We already have three colors. So let's add even more. For that I will go to this layer that is assisted and also alpha lock it. We can even keep it as assisted. It is fine. Let's just change the color into number 15 and also outline it on the right side. Match it with the green color. Like this. Now we have four colors and we can try to add the pattern on these two parts. I'm creating a layer between these two. And it will be clipped right away. Here I'd like to use drawing assist as well. Let's first grab color number 9 for drawing. And lower the brush size. I'll set it to 8%. I will start drawing a pattern reminding fish scales. On the first row, I will draw these arcs. Let me adjust this one. I will remove all the gaps here. And then make a line on top to connect them. Now we can try to fill the shapes quickly. First these two, then two more and the last one in the middle. Now let's draw a few more in these spaces. 
This time I will draw arcs on top and at the bottom. So it may also look like a nice shape. Let's draw two more here. They can be adjusted as always. Then I will connect them all. So there are no spaces. And start dragging the color. Actually, instead of drawing more shapes, let's do this. Go to selection and switch to freehand mode. I will outline three shapes. Then tap here to connect the selection and click copy and paste. Now if we click on the arrow, we can move it a bit down and place it this way. Now we can duplicate the layer, move it again, erase this one that is not needed, duplicate it one last time and put it here. Now we can merge all these layers and apply alpha lock to it to recolor one of the sides. I'm selecting color number 16 here, going back to selection, switching to rectangle and I will also enable color fill. So we can outline the scales and they will be filled. Alright, let's go down and draw the entire shape of the owl. We can merge these layers and even this. Then create one more layer below. Activate drawing assist and select the base color. I'm gonna use color number 17 here. Increase the size back to 11% and start outlining the sides. From this point going down on this arc. Let's connect them here. It may go a little outside, but not so much. We also need to connect it behind the cheeks. And then fill the shape. Then create one more layer to draw the remaining parts. I think we can add the tail. And for that I'm gonna grab color number 8. Let's also use symmetry and outline the shape. Starting from the sides and going down. Connecting it here. And also on top. Now we can also drag the color here. And make another layer for the wings. Right below this one. Drawing assist is turned on here. And we can pick color number 4. Outline one of the wings. And the other one will be mirrored. So let's go this way. Finish the outline. And drag the color inside it. And for the fingers we need to create a layer above the body. For example here. Or maybe even above the eyes. So when we merge all the layers, the fingers may stay separately. First I will grab color number 23. Enable drawing assist. And draw this way. Connecting these parts. 
and then making arcs on top. Trying to make multiple strokes here. Now let's fill them. And create one more layer with drawing assist. To draw the nails, we can pick color number 4 here. And start drawing these triangles. I will make them slightly rounded. And then draw two more. Let's try to remove the sketch and see. To be able to play around with geometry, let's make the layer with the sketch visible. And then create one more. On top of all layers. I will grab black color from the color disk and also the sketching brush that was dry ink from inking set and its size is still at 11%. We already have a few prompts here. For example, there are a few intersections on the tail and we have the grid. So let's just draw a vertical line to divide the whole shape into two parts. I will match it with a grid. After that I will create another layer and draw a circle. Let's wait a second and tap on the canvas. After that we can resize it. I will click on the arrow and now we can transform it even more. I will move it a bit upper and we can create this intersection on the wing and on the body. I will just remove this part on the right and keep it only on the left side. On the right it will go differently. Like this. Now let's draw a horizontal line that will go from this side. Let's make it go strictly horizontally by tapping on the canvas. I will match it with this corner. Now we can draw two horizontal lines here on the left side, another one, I'm also tapping and in the empty area draw a few trees, very simplified. I will show them as triangles, that will go down first and then up again, like this. And for the symmetry, let's add more trees on the right. So I will start from here and draw more triangles. Go up and intersect the circle. Make a bigger shape here. Let's add another horizontal line. This way. And then a vertical one on the right. We can add a smaller shape here. Then go back to the sketch with the owl, remove assisted drawing. And I will erase these lines. We will get this. Let's see what other shapes we can create inside the owl. So I will go back to one of the sketch layers and we can draw an arc that will go parallel to the head. Match it with the beak. We can edit the shape and then add more. For example, from this corner of the wing, I will draw a curve. Match it with this point. Then draw one more line. And finish it here. 
let's divide the remaining shape into a few more parts. So I will draw two more arcs. That will go like this. And to the right side, I will draw a horizontal line. Match it with the tail. Let's also try to make an interesting shape with the wing. So I will start drawing a vertical line from here. And then match it with this arc. Like this. Then starting from here, I will create this intersection. And finish the curve. Let me adjust it quickly. And now it is fine. Let's have a look at it. I think the shapes are ready. Let's start adding colors. I'm going to merge these two layers. And then also set the opacity to 50%. Same as on the sketch. Now let's create a layer below all layers. And paint the entire background into color number 6. Then create another layer for the circle. As the base color for it, I'm going to use color number 5. I also want to change the brush into monoline from calligraphy because it is non-tapered. And we will need to match the tips. Its size is at 20%. And I will start outlining. Wait a second and tap on the canvas. Now we can resize it and after that drag the color inside. Let's alpha lock the layer to add more colors inside it. First I will select color number 2. Go to selection, pick rectangle and outline it here, in the first quarter. It is filled. And for the right side, let's paint the trees. I will pick color number 23 for the contrast. And one of the best ways to draw straight lines is to use selection, but we need to switch to freehand because they go with an angle. Let's just start tapping on the corners. It may go outside the circle, but then we need to connect it and tap to fill. This part is ready. Let's make another layer under the circle. Grab color number 3 from the palette, go back to selection and use it in rectangle. We can now fill this quarter. Create the outline first and it will be filled. To draw the trees we need to alpha lock the layer as well. And we can try to use color number 12, which is also dark. We need to switch to freehand selection and tap on the corners here. We can do it very fast and get a perfect result. Let's outline it outside the canvas and tap. Ok, this is also done. Let me create a layer underneath and with the same color paint this rectangle. Since we are not going to use any patterns, we can continue working on the same layer. I will just grab color number 5 and fill this rectangle at the bottom. Let's deselect it and switch to color number 4 on the left. Outline another rectangle. Try to match it here on the border. 
Let's now work on this side and paint the small part. I want to use the lightest color, which is number 1. Outline the small shape. To paint the stick, let's create another layer. It needs to be located right under the fingers. For the base color, I'm going to use 22. And draw this rectangle. Now we can alpha lock it. And add another color. It will be number 18. We already locked the layer. So let's go to selection. And since it will have an angle, we need to switch to freehand. Just tap on these lines. Outline it here. Tap more. And connect it. It will change the color. Now we only need to finish the trees and also paint these two rectangles. So let me select color number 14 from the palette. I will go back to this layer. And draw the first rectangle. Then select, then select 13th color. And paint the last one. Now we can finish the trees. And for that I'm going to grab color number 8. We can continue working on the same layer, since it is located under the circle, so it is fine. We just need to switch to freehand selection. Match it here. And continue tapping. Go down. And here make a straight line. Finish it. And tap. This is also done. Let's try to remove the sketch and see what we got. I think we can paint this part. In the corner. With some light color, for example number 2. So we can create a layer below this one. And draw like this. It will be done very fast. And now that we have the colors, we can start adding more shapes inside the owl. Let's use the sketch. And first I will work on the tail. Let's find it in the layers. Then I will create a layer above it. And add a clipping mask. I want to paint the left side of it. Into color number 11. So let's create a rectangular selection here on the side. And once it is filled, I will go and alpha lock it. To add the pattern here. Let's use some light color. For example number 3. And in the brush set. There is a pattern with the lines. We already used it in the Toucan drawing. If you missed it, you can find it on my channel. The brush size is set to 50%. And I will start making strokes like this. Inside the selection. Now the tail is ready. Let's go ahead and merge these two layers. Then finish the fingers. They are located on layer number 8. So let me also alpha lock it and recolor the left side. I'm gonna use color number 12. Also outline it and that's it. Let's do the same with the nails. So I'm adding alpha lock and I will make them even lighter using color number 1. This is also ready. We can even merge these two layers. 
Let's see what we have on the swing. Too many light colors. So we need to recolor it. For that let's go to the lay with the wings. And create another one above. Add a clipping mask to it. We need to add some dark color. It'll be 21. Let's switch to freehand in the selection and continue the circle very carefully. Then I will do it this way and tap to fill. Before adding a pattern here, let's recolor this part. We can alpha lock the layer, grab 19th color and do the same thing. To add the pattern here, let's create a layer between these two and it will be filled right away. I want to use some yellowish shade, can be number 15. And there is also a pattern with triangles, so let's use it. With the size set to 41%, I will apply it on this color. This part is ready now. We can merge these three layers and start adding even more colors, this time on the body. So let's go to this layer number 5, create another one above it and clip it. Let's fill the shape first. It can be dark, for example color number 20. I'd like to use selection here as well. Button freehand. Draw this arc carefully. Then connect it and tap to fill. Let's now switch to 18th color and draw this shape. Also follow the outlines. Let's go up here. We can rotate the canvas for more convenience and match. Ok, this one is also ready. We can pick light color right from this part of the head and draw this line. Also continue the circle. Let's match it with this part, since we are on one layer. On the side we can outline it however we want. Just tap. Let's deselect it and switch to color number 6. I'll also make a straight line from this point going down vertically and then make an arc that will go to the side. Then I will match it with the white color. Like this. And tap. We have two more shapes. So we need to select more colors. I will grab number 10. Let's also make a straight line first. Then the first arc. It needs to go outside the shape and here I will match it. Also tap. To make it faster, we can simply create a layer below. And here select color number 20. 
just create a random outline with a straight line here that will cover the shape. Now it is done. Let's finish the right side. At first I will start with this part. We can actually create one more layer, so I will merge these two. And then create one more. Because here I will apply a pattern. Let's clip it. And select color number 2. I will follow the outlines on the sketch. And draw a shape like this. Then it may go outside. And I will tap to connect it. Now let's alpha lock the layer to apply pattern. Here I want to apply some dark color. Number 21 will work. There is a very cute pattern in my texture set. Let me actually put it in the brush set. When you download it, it will be already there. So its size is at 42%. And I will apply it this way. Let's add even more colors. And for that I will create a layer below. It will be just easier this way. Let me select the sixth color. And draw the small shape here. I will outline it in freehand. Like this. And when it's ready, on the same layer, we can apply color number 4. Just continue this part. Make a curve this way. Then it will go down, so we can just tap here. And tap to the right, to make a straight line. Finish it here, and it will also change the color. Now to paint this small part easily, let's merge these two layers, or even these three, and create a layer between these two. I want to paint it into color number 16, so we can use selection here. Just outline the shape like this, and it will be filled. On these two parts I want to apply patterns. So let's do it. We can now merge these two layers. And then create one more. Right above the base. Let's select color number 19. Pick rectangular selection. And outline it like this. Now we can also alpha lock it to add the pattern. But before doing it, let's go to canvas and edit drawing guide. This time I'm going to use 2D grid and make assisted drawing on. Click done and remove drawing guide from the canvas. I just don't want to see it. I want to create multiple vertical lines. And due to the assisted drawing, it will snap to the grid. We just need to select the color first. For example, this light yellow, number 15. And from inking, select Inca brush. Let's set it to around 9 or 8%. We are on this assisted layer. And I will start making strokes quickly. Up and down changing the pressure. So this is a very fast way to draw vertical lines, especially if you need to create a pattern. You don't have to wait. Just make strokes however you want, and they will go strictly vertical anyway. Now we did it. Let's finish this part. So I will go to the base layer and create another one above it. Since we have a few clipped layers on top, this one will be clipped as well. 
Let me select this old paper and lightest color from the palette. The size here is set to 30%. I will just apply it like this. Then we can also add dark color. For example, number 20 from this part. So I will just make another stroke. And we will get this result. After we did that, we can merge all the layers for the body. And go to this layer with the head. We have this continuing line here. So let's also fill this part with another color. It will be number 7. The layer is already alpha locked, but we just need to remove assisted drawing. To apply it only on the left side. I'm gonna use rectangular selection. Or we can actually switch to freehand. Tap to continue this line. And then finish it here. When it's done, we can also add another pattern on the head. But I will do it on another layer. Let's create it on top of this one. And then clip. I think we already don't need the sketch. So I will remove it. This time I want to use another type of drawing assist. So let's go to activate it first. It's still here in canvas. We need to enable drawing guide and then go to edit. This time I will select perspective and tap inside the eye. I will increase the thickness so we can see it better. And then also enable assisted drawing. Now we can click done. It will be also snapped to this grid. So let's select Inca brush from recent and light color. I will continue making strokes like this. And it'll follow the perspective. Let's go down and add more lines. We can also add them on the green part. And try and making strokes in different directions. I'm applying low pressure here to get the lines textured. Ok, this one is done. Let me now remove the drawing guide. And I will duplicate this part. Flip it horizontal. And enable magnetics in the settings. Before we move it to the right side, let's recolor it. So we can see it on the white side. We need to alpha lock the layer and pick some darker color. For example, can be number 8. Let's try it. We need to click fill layer and now we can drag it to the right very carefully. Put it like this. Let me erase it here. I will also remove the sketch of the owl to see how it turned out. Maybe we can add a few more details. As an option we can add a pattern on the trees. This color will work. First I will go to the circle. Then to selection. Remove color fill. And switch to automatic. I will tap on the dark color. And if it selects a bigger area, 
you may need to slide to adjust selection threshold. Now I will tap on the brush and select this old paper texture. Apply it this way on the selected area. You can also try to tap and it will be enough. Let's now do the same on the green trees. We need to find it on the layer, it's here and I will do the same. Use automatic selection, then tap on the brush to activate it and apply the pattern here as well, like this. Then tap a few times. It is also done. Maybe we can add an improvised sun with a nice pattern. So before we start drawing it, let's create a new layer. Can be located above all layers. And it's just drawing guide. I will switch to 2D grid again. Just remove it from the canvas. If we didn't do it in the drawing guide, it'll also work. So we can pick light color from here, then go to selection and pick ellipse. Let's create a circular selection first, somewhere here. I don't have color fill on, instead I will go to brushes and use Inca. We can start drawing horizontal strokes like this. And due to the assisted drawing, the lines will also go strictly horizontally. If we adjust the pressure, the lines will get thinner. Ok, now we can deselect it and adjust the size. I will put it somewhere here. In the end we can apply a paper texture all over the drawing. So let's create one more layer. And in this brush set, pick this pastel brush. It's from my paper spec. Let's try to use black color. And set the layers mode to overlay or soft light, if you want to make it lighter. I will increase the brush size and make stroke without lifting the pencil up. The colors will get slightly darker and also get a very nice texture. If it is still very dark for you, there is a way to adjust brightness to make it subtle. And as always in the end it's nice to adjust colors. Before doing it, I will go to the top layer, then go to Actions, Add, Copy Canvas and Paste. Here you can try to apply gradient map. Just switch between different options and see which one works for you. Let me cancel it. And another option is to adjust color balance. So you can move the sliders to the sides. And see what works best for you. At this point our stylist owl drawing is finished. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Tag me if you post a version on Instagram. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.